Hey y'all, I am on my bullshit. All right, so we got another local one. I really like the local ones because, well, they're local, so it affects my community directly. And also, it's easier to cover. You can get into the court, you know, the courtrooms to like see the hearings and stuff. It's just all around better to cover local stories in my opinion. So I am going to be covering the hell out of this case. This case is one of the craziest things that I have seen. And um, I am actually about to drive down to Penrose because it's not very far from where I live, like 40 minutes, 35 minutes. And I'm going to get some footage of the house, the house of corpses, because I don't know what else we call this. It is. It is the literal house of corpses. There are 115 bodies minimum in this funeral home crematorium that has been out of commission. Like it has not been operable for a while now down in Penrose, Colorado, and they have found a crap ton of bodies there. Um, I guess the director who is John Michael Halford is at 815 East Platte Avenue because he didn't put down his actual home address on his voter registration. He put down the name or the address of the second funeral home that he opened up here in Colorado Springs. So going to get some footage of the new one too, but obviously the new one is not nearly as exciting as the old one that he abandoned in Penrose that has been found full of bodies. It's absolutely horrific. It also turns out that this guy like lost his, um, his license, his cremation or whatever license, like his license to handle bodies. Like this is not my field of expertise, right? Funeral homes don't really know a whole lot about them, but apparently you have to have a license to do that stuff. And apparently the licensing board has been investigating him since last November for, get this, taxidermy. There are a lot of questions here, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead, get ready, get driving down there. There's no way I can do a live stream down there. There's no data down there. Penrose is a farm community. They don't even have like a grocery store. They have a gas station. <laughs> like if you want to go to the grocery store, you have to go to Canyon City or the Springs. So like there's nothing down there. And I would be extremely surprised if I was able to get reception down there to do a live stream. So I'm going to be taking footage, making content and posting that later today. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned. We are covering this. Bye for now.